Hi to all the lovely people, you all are once again most welcome to your very own channel that is Tutorials Point. Well, we all speak in different tones, our tonalities differ, basis what we are thinking or basis what we want to show or what we want to let other people know that we are thinking. Now, what are these different adjectives or what are these words which we can use to describe different tones? How do we actually sort of describe what sort of a tone a person is using? Well, precisely this video brings to you amazing adjectives to describe different people's tone. Without any further delay, let's go ahead and see what are these different tones or what are these different adjectives? How do we put them to use or how do we use them in a sentence to describe what a person's tone is well tone not necessarily um, of course before going forward i would love to tell you that tone not necessarily mean that the way that you are speaking but also it could sort of express what a particular action that you're doing what it that action is trying to convey what is the um sort of an expression which is being conveyed by that particular action so that could also be referred to as your tone so let's go ahead and see what are these adjectives okay you're getting quite romantic in your old age well romantic here is an adjective which could be used to describe the tone of the entire sentence or the feeling which has been conveyed by that sentence so when you're saying romantic, you could use it to describe a tone or you could also use it to sort of describe the feeling what, which is being or that expression which has been conveyed in that sentence. Okay, the children are in our family are always respectful to their elders. So respectful is yet another amazing adjective which you could use to describe the tone of a person or what is the emotion that a person wants to convey. Okay. She was in a relaxed and a confident mood. So relaxed here is an amazing adjective which yet again can be used to describe the tone or the conduct of a person. He was constantly reassuring himself that he had acted for the best. So reassuring is yet another adjective which is used to describe the tone of people or um, he had a very reassuring tone today in the meeting. So reassuring is yet another different adjective to describe the tone of different people. He is too proud to see his own mistakes. So proud is, as I told you, yet another adjective to describe uh, again, it could be used to describe a tone as well or it also could be used to describe the conduct or the behavior or the expression of a particular person. Okay, John smiled at them and gave Richard a playful poke. So playful is yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone, the behavior or the feeling or the expression or the conduct of a person. Her calm expression hid her inward panic. So calm here is yet another different adjective which can be used to describe the tone, which can be used to describe your feeling, your expression, your body language, your conduct. He gave me an approving nod. So approving again is yet another adjective which can be used to describe your tone, your conduct, feeling. If you're passionate about something, pursue it. Well, passionate is yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone of different people or your conduct or your behavior or what you are feeling. I'm very optimistic about our chances of success. So optimistic here is yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone. Okay. Might I make a modest suggestion? Well, modest is yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone. She was joyful for her good result of the scientific experiments. So here joyful is yet another expression, yet another adjective which can be used to express um, the feeling, the tone or the conduct. He was hilarious. He had us all in hysterics. So again, hilarious here is yet another adjective which kind of means that, okay, very, very funny, extremely funny um, to the next level. So that is what is meant by hilarious. So hilarious is yet another adjective. If you know of such people who are really hilarious in whatever they just say, well then go ahead and use this adjective for them. 
encouraging me when I need a shove. So encouraging is, you know, yet another word, yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone of people. They may be quite empathetic but not very disciplined about setting limits or giving their children structure. So again, empathetic here is yet another expression, yet another adjective to describe the tone or conduct or feeling or expression. Okay, he's very interested in nuclear physics. So interested here is yet another adjective. Again, you could use it like I told you, you could use it for, uh, you know, people's expression or people's feeling or their conduct or their behavior or their tone as well. He was quite humorous and I liked that about him. So humorous is yet another word which can be used, yet another adjective which can be used to describe the tone. The attendant should make the patient happy and hopeful. So hopeful, yet another adjective to describe the tone. Could be your behavior, could be your conduct, emotion, expression, whatever you want to say. He was enormously sympathetic when my father died. So sympathetic is yet another adjective to describe the tone and you know, you could use it. Well, all these words, you know, these highlighted words here, these are the adjectives that I wanted to bring to you all. Um, I'm sure they would be very helpful. I'm sure, uh, you know, you could use it wherever you feel is necessary or if the situation demands you to use it. Well, um, I will see you again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with tutorials, point and tutorials. Have a great day.